That's dog food, not what I ordered, but. Wow, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Now, before I start talking about how I shoot my videos and how I make my videos, we're gonna get some tiny house work done, and then I'll go over how I make my videos. So this is um, the monitor mount I bought. It came with instructions, so I'll have to read those. It also came with some hardware stuff. So I'm going to start on um, putting this up. It was like problem. I drilled into the hole where there was no stud. Now I was thinking there would be a stud all the way right here. That was my problem. I wasn't close enough to it, so I'll have to get closer. I have a new plan. Now, I know for certain there's a stud right here. I can just tell where my paneling joins up. There is one right here, but. I can't get it close enough because the trim piece is in the way, but this, since I have this movable like this, I can mount it on this stud and still have it in this corner and be able to move it around. So that's how I'm going to do it. And now, if I sit down, I can get the approximate height I want. So, this is a double stud. So I can go... Right here, and right there. Now I can drill. So we have the lag bolt, self-tapping screw with the bolt end. Have the washer as well. Now how I always remember how uh, which way to turn it is righty tighty, lefty loosey, and that's how I've always remembered um, which way to turn these kind of things. Instead of using this little thing they give you, this little wrench, I'm actually going to go get a real wrench because it'll go much quicker and easier instead of using this little flims flimsy thing they give you. It's not as tight as you want it to be. You want it to be a little bit loose so you can adjust it how you would like it. So in the directions it says to remove this plate. So there's two two little little screws that we have to remove. Some um, monitors come with their own screws. It does include its own screws, and these screws work for this monitor. So now I'm going to attach it, um, attach the this plate to the actual uh, monitor itself. Now I'm using. You probably shouldn't be using um, an impact, but. If you go slow and carefully, you should be able to.
we did is we took the brad nailer and brad nailed them in the corners as you guys can see you guys can't even tell that we did that um we did that because we had a few of the panels especially up here fall down um which is no problem and we uh just didn't want them to be falling down whenever so we made sure um that they were never going to fall down again so the power cord on the monitor itself was too short so i have this power strip that I i've been using in here anyways and i'm going to put probably two pieces of velcro on it and velcro it right here so when my desk is down i can have places to plug in and i'll clean the wire up so it looks really nice but i think that'll work out really well it also give the monitor um able move uh it, room to move when it's um being like swiveled around and i'll show you guys um how the monitor can move on the mount i bought so here it is mounted you can move it side to side you can pull it out towards you you can move it vertical upside down you can move it any direction this way it folds into the wall just like that um you can also move it this direction if you would like to yep so i can move it all the way over here sorry from your way and so you can move it almost anywhere in in this vicinity it comes really far out the wall i'll probably really never have it that way but it'll be nice um because I'll be actually able to see it at my table, especially for sitting this way. And then for um, having my couch right here, this will probably be, I can have it really close to me. Or I can have it back here towards the wall. Um, this will probably be its main resting area right here. But then again, I just bought it, so I'll figure out new ways to put it in the house. Leave your comments below. I don't know what to do, um, how to make these wires look a little nicer. Um, my parents probably have some ideas, but I want to know what you guys um, know. So um, leave a comment below on how I can clean these wires up uh, to this TV. And it has to be a way so the TV can, you know, move around and stuff. Because I have ideas, but it's for a stationary TV, not a TV that is able to go 360 degrees and stuff like that. So, Well, that's nice to know. Looks like it's going to storm. The sky is not too pleasing to me. So if you guys have noticed that the quality of this video is normally a little bit higher than my normal videos, it's because I'm shooting on my dad's Canon Rebel T5 um, with the 18-55mm lens, if you guys are wondering. Um, I'm using this camera for this video because, um, as you guys know from the title, I'm going to be telling you how I make my videos, and in order to show you how I make my videos, I want to be able to show you my camera, and so I have been using his camera for today. Now, this I don't carry around very often. Um, I just use it to kind of hold all my gear. Um, this is my main camera right here. This is the Canon SX400IS. Um, it's uh, When I got it, it was around $130. Now it's running $298 on Amazon Prime. Um, if you're going to be spending around $300 on this kind of camera, I would suggest getting a DSLR. Um, not that this is a bad camera, but if you're going to be paying that much, I would get a better camera um, than this one. This one shoots 16 megapixels. It has a 30 times zoom, so it can go out very far. That's how I get those nice cropped zoom-in shots. Um, this right here, this little uh, fuzzy up here, this is a wind muff, and this just um, keeps all the wind noise off the microphone, so you guys don't hear that annoying wind noise that you see often in videos. Um, but for what I what I paid for it, it's a really good camera, and I like it. Um, though, I like to research cameras. I'm always looking cameras up. And my next purchase for a camera, um, obviously I can't afford it now just because I'm building a house. But my next camera that I'll probably get is the Canon EOS M. It's a mirrorless DSLR camera. And that's a it's pretty cheap. Uh, but then not cheap because it is a mirrorless camera. 
um, for all the B-roll, so this is my A-roll camera, so A-roll is like talking, talking shots and stuff like that, B-roll is a lot of shots with music and stuff, this is my, uh, Nikon Coolpix, uh, S2800, um, it's 20 megapixels, um, the screen on it, I hate the screen on it, it's super bad, but, other than that, it's a pretty good camera for the price uh, you get. It was like $60. Um, then again, the glass on a Nikon is a lot different than the glass on a, a Canon. I prefer Canon look. Um, even though the theme right now is switching to Sony because Casey Neistat, if you guys any of know who he is, almost all YouTubers look up to him. Um, he switched to Sony, and now everyone else is following in his footsteps. But I'll be sticking to Canon um, or whatever you know, brand, I don't really have a preference, uh, I've always had Canon, but if another brand makes a good camera, then I'll get that too. This is a camera that I first got, then I got this one, and this one I've always had. Um, I bought this one in 2015, and I've had it since then. I've really started to use it ever since I started my YouTube channel, um, so I've really got my money's worth it, worth of it. Up next, uh, for the point and shoot, this is a, a dye pack, you've seen this before probably, and you can put the point and shoot in it and go underwater. That wasn't too much. Then I just have like a lens cleaning, lens cleaning kit, um, more microfiber cloths, extra memory cards, things like that. Um, for times I use my cell phone. Not very often, but I have a cell phone mount, a uh, camera strap. Um, also, for some videos, not very much. I think I've done it for one video just because of uh, the convenience. Um, I use a lavalier microphone, so what I do is I go on my phone and I then put the voice recording app on. I plug that into my phone. It's a set of headphones with the microphone, so you cut the earbud part out and just keep the microphone part. And that will work as a lavalier microphone. Um, so that was almost free and I've used it in some videos. I don't know why, I just want to see the difference between um, price points and cameras. So right now you guys are listening and watching through the EOS Rebel T5, my dad's camera. And now, and now you guys are listening and watching through the Canon SX400IS. This is my main camera, and that was my dad's camera. So I just want to see the difference of the video quality and audio from camera to camera. Other than that, I use, for my editing software, I use Wondershare Flamora Go. Um, and that is a really good, I just got it recently. Um, that's a really good editing software. And so my probably my past five videos have been edited on that. And I'm really getting to like it. It's so much quicker. Before that, I used um, Windows Movie Maker. Not yeah, Windows Movie Maker. Um, that was good, but then it was super slow, and I just didn't like it overall. You can't really do much for it. I mean, it's probably good for making um, a, a school video for it, but for making videos almost every week, I wanted something a little bit better than that. Um, and this, I didn't want this to make it about technology because I know a lot of you guys don't even care about my videos, about what I shoot them on, about how I edit them. But I personally do. I like these videos when people that I watch make them because then I know what they're shooting on and it's kind of cool to know their setup. Um, I included some tiny house work by putting my monitor in and, um, and putting uh, nails into these so they don't fall off. Um, that's probably all. I'm shooting this on a Monday, and I'll probably post it around Wednesday. This weekend, I have a camper all, and my whole family is going to go. Um, me and my brother in our Boy Scouts, and my sister, mom, and dad are all Adventure Scouts. So, they'll all be going. A camper all is where your whole council, um, all the troops and Adventure crews go, and it's really fun. Now I will go through the comments and pick the name of the chicken. So here are some of the suggestions I got. Bob the Chick. Um, omelette. Also, uh, like other... Hawk 
Foghorn, Leghorn. Um, there's more on my Facebook that I'll go to. By the way, follow me on Facebook, uh, just Luke Thill. I post photos um, of my progress. And then the last one is Henny Penny. Now there's probably more that um, I didn't get to because they were longer um, uh, sentences, but from Bob the Chick, Leghorn, um, Longhorn, and Henny Penny, I'll probably go with Henny Penny. So I know you're watching this video right now. Um, this is a family friend. I didn't just pick you because you're a family friend, but this is my favorite name of them all. Um, Henny Penny will be the new chicken's name. So thank you, Kim. You know who you are, and thank you for choosing that name. Other than that, that's probably all for this video. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.